Located on the vast high plains of eastern New Mexico, Sumner Lake State Park is situated between the village of Fort Sumner to the south and the city of Santa Rosa and Interstate 40 to the north. The 4,500-acre lake is situated at an elevation of 4,310 feet above sea level. The man-made lake, which is in fact a reservoir, was created by damming the Pecos River. Pinion juniper, mesquite, grasses, and yucca cover the hill slopes and mesas surrounding the lake. Of the several campgrounds within the park, only the Pecos Campground has electric and water hookup sites. The campgrounds also have restrooms with showers, and a dump station is available near the entrance. Primitive camping is also allowed along the lakeshore. The park also has a visitor center with exhibits. The pinyon junipers and other trees in the campground often attract many birds. Some species that we have found here include this American robin, Cedar waxwing, Woodhouse's scrub jay, Townsend solitaire, and this out of range juniper titmouse. Located in the vast dry region, the large lake is a magnet for many migrating waterbirds. Ringbill gulls are by far the most numerous gulls to be found at the lake throughout much of the year. By carefully scanning through the flocks, you may find other species of gulls. The large dark gull on the left with the heavy black bill and pink legs is a first cycle lesser black back gull. This is one of the two birds that were recently found at the lake, and they were a new species for the park list. This gull is a rare visitor to New Mexico. Other birds we found along the lake shore include this horn lark, American Pippet, Rock Wren, and Western Kingbird. Our favorite birding area within the park is the riparian area below the dam. There are less people here and a greater variety of birds to be found. The large cottonwood trees have attracted many eastern vagrants in the past.
The dam was built in 1937 to provide irrigation water and flood control. Nearly 1,000 men worked on the construction of the dam at a cost of $1 million, more than $13 million in today's dollars. When the dam was almost complete, heavy rains filled the entire lake in only 48 hours, sparing many lives downstream. We heard a wild turkey calling, and we assumed it was on the ground. We were quite surprised to see this tom perched in the top of a tree. We were surprised by the lack of campers below the dam. In fact, the only occupants we encountered was this group of turkey vultures hanging out in one of the campsites. Other birds that we found below the dam were this red-necked sapsucker, spotted sandpiper, this overhead bald eagle, and red-tailed hawk. Song sparrow. Ruby crown kinglet. Yellow rumped wobbler. And this migrating Wilson's wobbler. We found this mating pair of common buckeyes on the ground. Buckeyes can be found flying throughout much of the year. The distinct eye spots on the wings may be used to scare away predators. The most numerous dams of fly that we found below the dam were at least a hundred American ruby spots. This species can be found below the dam on warm summer days throughout the year. It's not too often that we see a pale-faced club skimmer hanging up in a tree. We typically only see them flying back and forth over the water. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please click the like button and be sure to subscribe so that you do not miss our next Advent Nature.